So welcome. Uh, photos hopefully you've downloaded. So I I teach in grade 11 college English. How many of you are secondary school teachers? Yeah, and not secondary school, just a few of us. So I'm sure you can relate. I teach grade 11 college English. Sometimes those kids are a bit tough to engage. And I thought, hey, I don't just want to leave them sitting there bored. I want to engage them. So I came up with Project Greenlight after Chris taught me how easy it is to use this app. Because I'm not a techie, but I do love that we have these Google accounts. So I wanted to find ways to use the functionality of Google really to help my students wake up, especially the kinesthetic students. I teach English, like grade 11 English. It's not very kinesthetic. But I thought I want to find little ways to make it more kinesthetic. And here is just one exemplar. I don't know. Will it work? Yes. 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 So this is just one sample of a movie that my students made using their Google account. They were doing a dystopian unit, so this is showcasing the elements of a dystopia. to get this done, which is what I like. You're always going to have those kids who can do amazing things, but that's not the population that I made this project for. These were easy to make. So, a couple of nerds. Chris teaches two doors down from me, so we hang out at lunchtime, and this project was born from Chris teaching me how to back up my personal photos onto my phone, and then I thought, hey, this is an app that our kids have access to as well. If it's easy for me as a non-techie, it'll be easy for my non-techie students as well. And that's what I was looking for. So I just wanted to show you a bored student, right? Because it's so hard day after day to see your kids not as engaged as you want them to be, right? Sometimes I'll work with a student who I know is really athletic or who excels in tech. If I know they have that strong kinesthetic intelligence, I really want to find ways to tap into that in English where it's so often pencil and paper. So, I mean, they'll write my test, but I didn't want to give them just another test. I thought, hey, they sit there and write my test. Let's see what we can come up with that's more highly engaging for that for those kids. Wanted to wake them up. Now, this one was not done with stop motion Lego, but I did want to let you know that part of what I wanted to do with engaging kids is I said, you're in grade 11, you have the freedom. Use any hardware and any software that you want. I'll show you how to easily use the Google Photos app to do this if you're not very confident. But I had some kids who just were like, oh, I'm downloading this app and bringing in this device from home, kind of a BYOD. And it was neat to see some of them who had more capability with tech really shine. So this is another example that some kids came up with. I apologize for the mature nature there. Here to let the students. at all, 
uh, I loved how strongly it connected to my curriculum. We had a 3C project that was kind of write a report as if you were going to make a movie and tell us how you use the elements of film, cinematography, mise-en-scene, and that's right out of the curriculum. But taking it to the next step of actually making the movie took it from, oh, okay, I'll write a report, I hope I pass, to, wow, okay, here's how I'm using cinematography. I'm going to use a Lego, and then the dystopian antagonist is going to be a stuffed animal who's larger, and they really get into it in a whole new way when instead of just writing about something they're not doing, they're actually doing it, right? It makes it an authentic piece of learning for them. They're doing something real. So, but the, just the curriculum connections are straight out of the book. So at any level of English, it's easy to tie in. I thought it was a great media studies project. Uh, the other thing I did to make it even more engaging is I hooked into TV, right? Kids love TV, TV is cool. So I'm not sure if you've heard of this show or not. Project Greenlight is an HBO show that was put on by Matt Damon and Ben Affleck. They had unknown little independent filmmakers submit a short film and the best one was given a $3 million Hollywood budget and partnership to make the movie. So we pretended that we were doing this TV show and kids got to do secret ballot voting at the end on which were the best films. So not only did they get to make a movie, but they had fun doing a little contest and pretending instead of, oh no, not another presentation. It was like, oh, it's my turn to do my film pitch for Project Greenlight. So I found that the presentation resistance, framing it as a TV show, was greatly reduced. Kids who normally might ask not to present in front of the group didn't even think about that. They were ready to pitch their films. So that was something else I enjoyed about this project. Uh, I just wanted to show this, the digital playground, right? Instead of bored kids who were like, get off from, get reading, get writing, the kids were busy and they felt like they were in charge. They could get out their software, make their film, decide how they wanted to pitch it. So they felt like they were in charge of the learning. That can be hard for us sometimes because it can be really easy to super chunk and micromanage and really almost have to give them their assignment sheet and like about a week and just let them go through it. But it's neat to see how they're able to manage the process. And I think they learn it in a more deep way through accessing the digital playground. I thought maybe we would just take a minute. I'm not sure what subjects you teach, but I wonder if this idea has transferability beyond just English. And I think that making a short film could be a neat way to share concepts from other subjects as well. So I thought maybe talk to each other for a minute about how you might use this in one of your courses. Okay, uh, are any of you phys ed people or anybody, th was anyone thinking that they could film a dance or maybe a yoga routine? I know my daughters had to do like choreography, maybe that's something that could be filmed. Then you can do authentic publication, that would be cool. Uh, any of you teach history or social sciences? Right, moments in history. There's like one minute history things already. It would be cool if kids could make that. Anyone working in second languages, French, Spanish, German, it would be maybe they could do a short scene in a second language and film that. Any of you teach the drama, right? I mean, in drama, there's lots of chances to film things, but maybe the animation or filming the toys would be a different take on a drama project. And any of you science people, right? In science, they do the labs, but this might be a neat way to publish a lab. So I think there's a lot of exciting ways just to help kids take come to the next level of engagement with their work through the authentic publication. Okay, so this is uh, the practical part of this. Um, Ms. Kiff and I have brought in toys for you. Um, please don't lose them and use them. I'm going to have a very upset three-year-old if you do. Um, but uh, So we've got the instructions on the screen. The app is pretty self-explanatory, so what you're going to do for the next 20 minutes, we want to give you as much time as we can to give you practice with the software. So, like Angela's 3C class, um, you can create, it doesn't have to be a dystopian, you can create whatever you want using the materials in front of you. So we've brought a, a large range of Lego, you may have some Peppa Pig things, um, so you can use those to start um, filming a movie. Now. With your phone, what you do is um, start off by opening up the camera, click, 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 treat it as a stop motion movie that you're making as you click the photos. 
Um, you can also incorporate video into this. So if there's you know one dramatic movement or scene, you can film a video on your phone and um, just keep working with it. Get all the raw footage that you want. It's better to have too much than too little raw footage. Um, but keep in mind, Google only lets you have 50 pictures or clips in your movie that it makes for you. So it is a little bit limited in that sense. Um, so start by installing the app. You've done that. Take a bunch of photos. Um, then what you're going to do is open up Google Apps on your phone, or Google Photos on your phone, and it will want, it will ask you, hey, can I back up all your photos for you? If you back up, if you turn it on to auto backup, anytime you're connected to Wi-Fi, it'll just back up your photos, and that can free up your space when you have a 16 gig iPhone, which is filled But with if you don't want to put all your photos on your school account, then you just turn it on and turn it off when you're done, and then it won't always Okay. Um, so then, uh, this next part's kind of the only technical part. When you are in the app and ready to make your movie, uh, if you click on the assistant, it's this little blue icon here, and then movie is the green bubble. Um, those are the only steps you really got to pay attention to. Um, and then it'll ask you, what do you want to make a movie of? Then you can select any photos, any of that raw footage that you want, and click make a movie and it'll it'll take a minute or two and it'll generate that movie for you um, so select all the photos if you click and hold it'll put a yellow box around the photo that's how to select multiple photos click and hold the first one um, finally when you're done there's some advanced features we'll show you on the next slide at the end but you can change the music you can change some transitions and cropping if you have a big uh, 20 second clip and you only want five seconds of it, you can adjust a bit of that um, afterwards and I'll show you that side next. But, um, so we're going to give you time now to practice making a movie, starring Peppa Pig or whatever uh, resources you have and yeah, we'll let you get at it. And if you have, I'll put up my name, if you have a cool movie and you want to share your movie to me, then if we have time we'll show you that. We'll, we'll also, uh, I noticed Brad took a picture of these instructions on his phone. You can do that if, uh, if you want to. Otherwise, I will make a link, a short link to this that you can write in your notes and take with you. Um, so I'll do that while you're working.